Yo, what is up guys? It is Nick with the Notorious Fantasy back again today with another video. Happy Friday to you guys. I hope my voice sounds slightly better. My video that I recorded yesterday, I sounded pretty dead. I still sound kind of dead, so I'm sorry about that. But today we're doing a 12-team PPR, half PPR mock draft on Sleeper app. Google Sleeper app, and you'll find this website. But before I start, I'd like to ask you guys to please click the subscribe button down below. It's on the side, too. Down below, click the notification bell to get notified for every single video I come out with. Every single day, I'm coming out with multiple videos. Every single day, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Click the like button, please. And go down below, leave a comment about something you hated, something you liked, whatever the fuck you want. Hope you guys have a great Friday. So, we got a half PPR 12-team draft, and the roster is one quarterback, two running backs, two receivers, tight end flex, kicker defense, and six bench spots. So, let's get right into the goddamn video. So, we got to pick a position. So, we're just going to go, uh, random fucking eight. We're going to go eight in a 12-team league, and we're going to start this bitch up right now. Boom. Someone just shot a firework off outside of my house. We love to hear that. Or a gun. Someone may have died outside of my house. So, Jesus Christ, no receivers. The first six picks without a receiver, that's pretty normal, I guess, but usually I see DeAndre Hopkins go in the middle of that. So, first pick is Saquon, Zeke, Alvin Kamara, David Johnson, Kamara, oh God, what the heck am I talking about? So, when uh, Barkley, Zeke, Kamara, David Johnson, McCaffrey, Melvin Gordon, D-Hop. So, pretty random to have David Johnson in the middle of the four, so usually it's Saquon, Zeke, Kamara, and CMC in no order, no particular order, but this guy snuck David Johnson in there. So it's our pick, and normally we go running back, but in this sort of situation, I do want to pick Devontae Adams here because of how explosive he is, how he's on such a good Green Bay team, and I think he's going to finish as the receiver one, and in like half PPR, in standard, I would definitely go running back here, but in half PPR, where you're getting half a point for your, your man's catching the ball, we're just going to go with Devonta Adams and not even look back and just load up on running backs in the next few rounds. So we're going to go with Devonta Adams. After we go with Devonta Adams, Le'Veon Bell, Michael Thomas, James Conner, Odell Beckham Jr., Travis Kelsey, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, Julio come off the board. So... First tight end comes off the board, Travis Kelsey. So you're going to notice that Travis, I said this in every single video. So Travis Kelsey, Zach Ertz, and George Kittle are going to go in the first three, four rounds. Usually Kel Kelsey's obviously always first, sometimes at the end of the first or in the, the second. And we, since it's a 12-team league, I don't think the positional advantage at tight end is as important. So we're not going to go Ertz or Kittle. We're not going receiver because I don't like going double receiver and then seeing the running backs I end up with on my starting lineup. So we're going to be going with not Todd Gurley. We're going to go with uh, Chubb here. Chubb, Todd Gurley, the reason why we're not going Todd Gurley is if you didn't know, he's injured. I made a video about it and he's injured. He has arthritis of, the, of one of his knees, which isn't good. You don't want your guy having arthritis. And we know that if I just don't really trust him and I don't want to put a second round pick at a guy that's injury prone. That's why I don't draft Leonard Fournette ever. That's why I never see me drafting Dalvin Cook. So, we're going to go with Chubb here. It's either Chubb or Williams. And that's always a pick that I have to decide upon. And in half PPR, obviously, Damian Williams catches the ball more. But in half PPR, not as important. And I think that uh, I like to diversify my pick. So, I usually go Damian Williams. So, when you're in a lot of drafts, you want to diversify. So, I'm going to go Chubb here because I normally go Damian Williams because I feel like they're a coin flip. And if you're going with just Damian Williams, because you see he's an inch better, and you're in playing in like 10 leagues or 5 leagues, then going Damian Williams every single time is just not ideal. Also, in the second round, usually when you're around the first back, when you're in the back half, you're going to be seeing Chubb or Williams at the running back pretty much every single time. Unless I wanted to go heavy on receiver, which I wouldn't hate going Juju here, but I don't end up liking my running backs later usually if I do end up doing that. So we're going to go Chubb here. After we go Chubb, Gurley, Mike Evans, Juju, T.Y., Antonio Brown, Leonard Fournette, Damian Williams, A.J. Green, Marlon Mack, Adam Thielen. First quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, Derrick Henry, Amari Cooper, Zach Ertz, Chubb. So now it's our pick. And so the first quarterback went off the board, which is Mahomes. So 
uh, usually going to see Mahomes going in the third or fourth round, but at your at-home draft, you might see Mahomes and Luck go in the first two rounds because that's just, people value the quarterback so highly in fantasy. Even though they shouldn't be valued that highly unless you're in a super flex league or even, even in a six-point league, I wouldn't draft Mahomes that high. So it's our pick, and if you wanted to get Kittle, you want Kittle, you're going to have to draft him at this spot. But I don't really want to go Kittle in this situation when I went Devontae Adams early. So I'm going to go running back or receiver. And I do like guys like Jacobs and carry on similar to how I like Aaron Jones. And hopefully they fall to me. So we're just going to go receiver here because I like uh, I like Keenan Allen more than I like these guys. While Keenan Allen semi-injury prone. I think he played all 16 last season. Nope, that is just completely wrong. I lied, but... Every game he was in, he was a solid receiver, and we want that in fantasy. So we're going with Keenan Allen here. After Keenan Allen, Jules, Edelman, Carrion Johnson, Devontae Freeman, Josh Jacobs, David Montgomery, Aaron Jones, Tyreek Hill, George Kittle. So none of the guys I wanted even fell to us. So in this situation, when you see that the guys, you don't want to reach just because you got fucked out of the guy you want. So we're just going to go receiver here again. Because that's the strategy we got to be going with here. I got to show you guys that just because you think normally how you know how to normally in my drafts. I don't know if you guys watch a lot. If you're new, if you're new, subscribe. Click that like button. Click the notification bell. But I normally go two running backs in the first three rounds because I think you need those great running backs. But in this situation where all the running backs have been taken that I like, I don't really want to reach on Mark Ingram. I never draft him because I don't really like him because I think his job could be stolen easily. And he's just not a guy I like. It's either Dig right here, Diggs, Cooks, Galladay, or Woods are pretty good picks here. I don't want to go with Diggs because of the bye week 12. Now, don't necessarily put the bye week so important. I do say that a lot, that I think that the bye weeks are important, but they're not as important as I probably say they are, because week 12, you don't know what your roster is going to look like. Keenan Allen's ACL may be torn. Devontae Adams may be dead. Chubb may be dead. Who knows? But you want to be going with the, the buys don't matter as much, but I do still keep in mind the buys. So we're going to be going with a guy who I still think has high upside, which is Woods. I think Woods is going to finish ahead of Cooks. Could finish ahead of Galladay and Diggs. So probably ahead of Galladay. We're definitely going to go Woods here. Woods is, the, in my opinion, my favorite Rams receiver to draft in fantasy. I like him and Cooks the most. Cup is just a straight avoid. I don't want him due to his injury last season. And I don't know if he's going to be playing it at full strength at the beginning of the year. And you want your guys that you're drafting to be there all year. That's why I don't really like drafting Tyreek Hill in the fourth round. Because he may be gone four or eight games. I don't necessarily know. Reports came out that it's four. But how, re uh, how uh, respectable... Is that source not very respectable? It was just some random guy who says it. That is apparently a KC official. But I don't really trust that. We ain't about that trust gang on them. So we're going to go with Robert Woods here. I have to go Robert Woods. Andrew Luck is picked. Followed by Kenny Galladay, Stephen Diggs, Sony Michel, Brandon Cooks, Phil Lindsay, Cooper Cup, Aaron Rodgers, Kenyon Drake, Mike Williams, Tyler Lockett, Mark Ingram, Calvin Ridley, Chris Godwin. Thank God Chris Carson fell to us. So... Three quarterbacks have already came off the board before the fifth round, which is normally kind of normal here. Maybe in your at-home league, you'll see more quarterbacks go this early, but typically I like to wait on quarterback and definitely wouldn't be targeting any of these guys this early. I guess Rodgers in the fifth round is kind of good value, but nevertheless, we're going with our running back here because we have three receivers already, and we need a guy who I feel like... I feel like there's a tier break off definitely here. We want a guy like Chris Carson on our team who I know is on a run heavy offense and is going to be getting those touches week in and week out where I, I know Penny could potentially steal his job. It may be a 60 40 split, but I know Chris Carson is going to get those goal line touches, score you those touchdowns. And he was pretty much free last year and was the top 20 back each week. It was pretty good. Solid. He could, was even a running back one certain weeks. So if you look at the stats 20, 12, 13, 15, 26. 23. At the end of the year, he was winning you games. So we're going to go Chris Carson here. After Chris Carson, Baker Mayfield goes followed by O.J. Howard, Shaw Watson, Sammy Watkins, Tariq Cohen, Darius Geis, Jarvis Landry, Tevin Coleman. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So it's our pick. And uh, let me explain something. The middle-wing tight end. So O.J. Howard, Hunter Henry, Evan Ingram, 
Eric Ebron, even though I don't like Ebron, are going to be going in like the fifth through seventh round. All those guys are going to be gone. So if you want one of those guys, you're going to have to be targeting them around here. So it's our pick one, two, three, four, five quarterbacks have now been selected. And I want to do something that I don't normally do because I view, I do think Matt Ryan is such a great talent this year. He's playing 13 games out of 16 in the dome. And that is obviously advantageous because you're not having to throw with the wind or anything. And Matt Ryan's a guy who I think is going to be pretty fucking good this year. Could even win MVP. I know that's obviously not a hot take in the fantasy world. A lot of guys think that. And I'm going to follow that train. I'm a fucking sheep. I think that that's going to happen. So we're going to go Matt, Matty Ice here. I like. I want to see what happens when you go quarterback slightly early in comparison to what I normally do. So after we went Matty Ice, Alshon Jeffrey, James White, Hunter Henry, Tyler Boyd, Darrell Henderson, Latavius Murray, Lamar Miller... Robbie Anderson, DJ Moore, Al Robinson, Drew Brees, Jordan Howard, Miles Sanders, and now it's our pick. And we have to go... Fuck, man. None of the running backs here I really like. And that's going to be a problem because you need that running back death. But at the same time, I think I can wait till the next round and get the running back that I would want anyways, which is Royce Freeman, Ronald Jones, all those guys. So we can just go receiver here and go for someone with high upside. So, right now, I'd say picking Matt Ryan in the 6th may have been a mistake due to the fact that I don't like the running back depth I want, I got. But at the same time, if I went a running back instead of, like, Devontae Adams, I'd probably like my team even more. But that we're doing experiments here. That's what mock drafts are for, to experiment. You should be doing your own, not just watching my videos. Obviously, you should watch my videos. Click like, click subscribe, all that. But we're going to be going with a receiver that is high upside. That's Dante Pettis, who could be the one in San Francisco. He's a guy that's going to be probably peppered with targets from Jimmy Garoppolo, Jimmy Guwap, the handsome man himself. And we're just going to hope that the solid weeks he had at the beginning of last season and towards the end were are real. And he's a real deal guy who you could be starting as your flex, or I'm pretty confident in playing him. Uh, when Devonte Adams, Keenan Allen, or Woods are on by, so Devonte. Dante Pettis, and then we don't really have to worry about receiver for a while. So after we went Pettis, Rashad Penny went, followed by Russell Wilson, Vance McDonald, Carson Wentz, Rolls Royce, Will Fuller, Kareem Hunt, Christian Kirkson, that's our pick. And we can't be touching receiver for a while because we have four solid guys already. So now we're going to hammer the running back position. I'm going to go Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones looking slim as fuck. I retweeted a picture on Twitter about it. He looks, he's looking good. He's looking strong. Looking strong as hell. He could be the one on Tampa. And we're just going to hope that that ends up happening. And since we're really only going to be playing Ronald Jones, since we have four solid receivers to be our flex, we're only going to be playing Ronald Jones in a situation if Chubb goes down or Chris Carson goes down or on the bye week. So we're going to go Ronald Jones here. But notice that when you go four receivers, like I said, you're going to have to probably tank the tight end position. And just be, because the, the only tight end I really liked, is Vance McDonald later is gone. And you're going to be having to hammer the running backs on your bench that you think have high upside that could win you weeks later in the season. So we go Ronald Jones here. After Ronald Jones, the Bears go. Followed by Eric Ebron, Sterling Shepard, Marvin Jones, Carlos Hyde, Jared Cook, Nikhil Harry, Jack McKinnon, Kyler, David Njoku, Jordan Miles, and LaShawn McCoy, Cam Newton, Phil the Thrill Rivers. So it's our pick. And now, let's see. One, two... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 teams. Every single team's got a quarterback. Actually, this team doesn't, and that guy has a backup. When you draft Andrew Luck in the fourth round, don't draft. Sorry, I just bumped my mic. Don't draft any backup quarterback this early. If you're going to even draft a backup quarterback, I wouldn't even, like, I'm Matt Ryan. I'm not drafting a backup quarterback. I'll just drop someone eventually and put that guy, and then just pick up a quarterback off the wire. Uh, the only time I ever draft a backup, usually, is when I go later, like if I draft, uh, say, Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson together, if their bye weeks are different, that's what I would do. And in, like, a 14-team league, you definitely need to draft a backup quarterback because the guy you're going to be picking up off the waiver wire is going to be absolute ass cheeks unless it's like like last year how some leagues just people didn't draft Patrick Mahomes and then he's just a god, stuff like that. So we're going to be going with a running back here, like I said, and we're going to go Jalen Samuels. For the upside that he is going to be a receiver on the team as well as a running back. And he's going to be getting a lot of passes. Like I say in every video, he's a guy I target at the back of the draft. So we're going to go Jalen Samuels here. 
After I go Jalen Samuels, Larry Fitz, Corey Davis, DK Metcalf, Famous Jameis, LA Rams defense, Dante Foreman, Jared Goff, me, Cole Hardman. So, I want to talk about defenses here now. Chicago went in the 8th, which is something you're going to be seeing. You may even see someone pick Chicago in the 4th, 5th round. Now, that's that's fucking stupid. Picking them in the 8th is stupid, too, in my opinion. But I can see why people reach for them for the upside that they show of being potentially the best defense at winning you weeks, which I can understand. Now, the Rams going in the 10th, I don't understand that. I think after the Bears, you should just wait till the last round to pick a defense. So it's our pick, and I'll explain to you how to pick the defense later. I explain it in every single video, so click the subscribe button so you can hear the how to pick a defense every single day so that it gets cemented into your head so that you're not the idiot drafting the Rams in the 10th round. So it's our pick, and we're going to run it back again. We're going to paint and barber to solidify the Tampa Bay backfield now. Some people, this is, a, this is a stupid idea. Why are you drafting two running backs on the same team when you don't know who's going to be the one of the two? That is because I don't know who's going to be the one of the two. And drafting, that means I have the whole Tampa Bay backfield. If Peyton Barber is the one, I got Peyton Barber. If Ronald Jones is the one, I got Ronald Jones. I got both the guys. And if one of the guys is to get hurt, say Barber goes down, then Jones is going to be the one. Then you can just hold them both. And if you see that Peyton Barber is just the clear one, it doesn't look like Ronald Jones is going to even take the job, then just drop Ronald Jones and pick up your backup quarterback. So we're going Peyton Barber. After Peyton Barber, Cortland Sutton, D.D. Westbrook, Ito Smith, Adrian beat his son, Tom Brady, Kiki Cootie, MVS, Austin Ekla, Jacksonville Jaguars, Big Ben, Emmanuel Sanders, Damian Harris, Golden Tate, James, Washington. So now it's our pick. And since a lot of the quarter, the running backs back here are not guys that I like to target, we are going to have to go tight end eventually. Are there any tight ends still available? No, we're going to have to be tanking the tight end position and just going two tight ends in this draft. So we're going to go a running back and then go two tight ends now. The only running backs back here that I think are going to be playing a lot, or Dion Lewis could potentially be playing a lot, Burita could be playing a lot, and if Dalvin Cook, if you have Dalvin Cook, you have to draft Alexander Madison, I'm going to make a handcuff video so I could further explain that, so I don't waste a lot of time drafting someone who I don't need necessarily, but Madison, just like Latavius Murray last year, if Dalvin Cook is to go down, then Madison's going to be a great guy to have stashed in your league, so we're going to be going with Deion Lewis, because I see, think he is the most upside out of any of these guys, and I think that necessarily the Derrick Henry hype, I have drafted him before in mock drafts, I don't love it, I don't, I think that it could be the same shit as last year, where Deion Lewis, like you can see, is just getting, and if you're starting him the correct week, could be the guy, and he may even end up just being the guy, because we all know Derrick Henry really isn't as good as his numbers show. So, sorry, my phone vibrated. Hopefully you didn't hear that. That was loud. It was one of those uh, those uh, porn bots. We love to see that. So, we're going to be going with Deion Lewis. Here. After Deion Lewis, Deshaun Jackson goes, followed by Curtis Samuels, LA Chargers, Devin Singletary, Anthony Miller, TJ Hawkinson, Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland Browns, our pick. So, we have to go tight end here. We have to go two tight ends because when you tank tight end like this, you need two guys. So, we're going to go with... Herndon, who's suspended for two games, so you need to get... Herndon's probably going to be suspended for two games due to his DUI, and he has week four bye week, so pretty much in the first four weeks you get him once, which isn't great, but he is a guy that has... I think I'm confident starting him week in and week out once um, his suspension ends and once his bye week ends, so we're going to go with him. After we go Herndon, Trey, and then we're going to have to pick a backup tight end to, to start. In, uh, in front of him the first few weeks. So after we went Chris Herndon, Trey Burton, Dak, Josh Allen, defenses, Jimmy Guap, Dante Moncrief, Delaney Walker, Devin Funches, Austin Hoopa, Alexander Madison, Paris Campbell, Greg Zerline, Tyrell Williams. we got to go tight end again. And we're going to go with another upside guy, Mark Andrews now. Mark Andrews is a guy who did pretty good last year. Now, I shouldn't have picked him. Oh, I can still show his player card. Did pretty solid certain weeks. And he's a guy that if the other tight ends that are... It, there's You might say, hey, Baltimore has a lot of guys at the tight end position. They have Hayden Hurst, a bunch of other guys whose names escaping the brain right now. But he's a guy who I think could end up being – he's probably going to be the best tight end on the team. Lamar Jackson obviously can't throw very far, not very good at quarterbacking, good at running. Also, probably good at throwing it to Mark Andrews, who's standing six feet away from him in the end zone, who's a big target. So he has pretty good potential here, considering we're only going to be starting him when Herndon is out. And that we just drop him, or if 
if he ends up being better, like I think, then Harden, then you're all good. So, and make sure also when you're drafting your tight ends, you get two different guys that have different bye weeks. So, just like with backup quarterbacks, if you're to go backup quarterback. So, Lamar Jackson went followed by Kyler Murray, Kirk Cousins, kicker, kicker galore, and Dar- Darwin Thompson goes. And then it's our pick, so we need to go defense. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I will explain to you how to pick a defense. So, click the subscribe button, and now I'm going to explain it. So, when you go to pick a defense, you don't pull up that sheet that shows you, oh, this defense is ranked this. No, no, you want to pull up the schedule and be like, who is... Is playing who's the defense of playing a shitty offense and that's who you pick you pull up the schedule week one who's the defense playing the shitty offense and that and that's how you do it with the guy the defenses that are available it's pretty easy not that complicated but i'll make a video about exactly how to do this and which defenses to be targeting your draft in around august because i don't think many guys are drafting in july so it's our pick obviously we're going defense and i have not done this research yet because it is early july but in august i will have done the research and made the video so we're just going to go with the highest ranked dallas cowboys uh but i'll only recite actual players who are picked here because i don't think kickers and defenses really matter that much the way you pick a kicker when it's our pick is you're going to be picking the you're going to go on google and find kicker rankings from some known expert and go with that so deshaun hamilton is picked Matt Breida, Greg Olson, Justice Hill, Kalen Blige. Now, Deshaun Hamilton, let me talk about him for a second. He's a guy who, even though Flacco, not that great, I think that Deshaun Hamilton could have a great season, just like at the end of last year, and put up some solid numbers, and is probably a solid flex option, even at the end of the draft. Could end up being a solid play. And now we go Justice Hill, also solid. Matt Breida, solid. Kalen Blige, I don't like as much, because I think they're just going to run with Kenyon Drake. Hell, unless Kenyon Drake gets hurt, then Kalen Blige, obviously, could be a solid option. Just like he was in a few weeks in the season, 19 points. Actually, just one week he did pretty good, but people were picking him up and starting him in their fantasy championship like a bunch of idiots. Like someone I know who I played in the fantasy championship and beat, so shout out to you. We're going with Matt, uh, Mason Crosby here. And then Naheem Hines is picked. Devontae Parker, Marquise Goodwin, the fastest man in the NFL, wins the million-dollar prize, Marquise Hollywood Brown. So I'm going to recap our roster. We got Matty Ice at the quarterback position, Nick Chubb, Chris Carson, Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, Chris Herndon, Robert Woods, a solid starting lineup here. Kicker and defense don't matter. Dante Pettis, Ronald Jones, Jalen Samuels, Peyton Barber, Deion Lewis, Mark Andrews. So thank you guys all for watching the video. I'd like if you guys could please click the subscribe button. Please click the like button. Please click the notification bell to get notified for all the fucking content I come with out with every single day. This summer is huge. You guys are gonna be seeing. You guys are gonna be winning your league if you click the subscribe button. I'm telling you that right now. That's a goddamn guarantee. We're getting those Super Bowl ships, and we're winning it all. So thank you guys all for watching. Have a great goddamn day, and I'll see you on Saturday. I hope you guys had a great Fourth of July yesterday, and I hope you have an even better weekend. So have a great day, guys. Goodbye.